Okay, we just created our program to add two numbers, our first program. We have a button here, click on the button, it says num1, okay, type in 3, type in num2, all right, and it just comes up with 8. All right, first of all, this program, it while it works, it does add two numbers. Mm, it's not very user-friendly. And I've been going on in class about making your programs more user-friendly. And we could see here why. First of all, this button says add two nums. Okay, what, what does that tell me to do? Do I have to press it? In fact, I'm not really sure. I mean, yes, I programmed it, so I kind of know what it does. But if anybody else came in here and was checking it, they wouldn't be sure. Program is not user-friendly. So, click on these. Let's change it up. Click on design mode. Click on the button. Click on properties. First of all, we need to change what's shown on that button itself add to nums come on um, how about click here to add two numbers that is a clear instruction that for sure tells the user what it's about of course I can make this even prettier I could change the colors of the uh, button I leave that for you to do okay now that is an instruction. I'm good with that. That's user friendly. Let's take off design mode. Let's try it out. The, the button says click here. Nice. To add two numbers. It is clear what this button is for. So let's do that. So I clicked it. Good. Oh, but then I see num1. Num1. Really? I'm just going to type 90. Num2. 0. And it comes up with the correct answer. That I have a problem with that input. That input is not user friendly. It's just telling me num1. Num1 is my variable name. My user doesn't need to know my variable name. My user needs to have an instruction. My user needs to be asked or prompted as to what to do. So let's try it again. Again, um, put on design mode, double click on the button, I'm back in my code. So my problem is here with the quotes. Whatever is typed in quotes, remember, whatever is typed in quotes, that's what is displayed in the output. I need to change that. So maybe I could put type a number. That's a clear instruction. All right, let's X this off. Let's try that. Take off design mode. Click. Ah, oh, type a number. That's much better. Oh gosh, num2. We forgot to change that num2. All right, let me type in 8. Answer's correct. Let's go back into design mode. Double click on the button. Back into the code. All right, num2 here, the one in quotes. Type a second number. Now, I want to say second number because... The first one says type a number and this one will come up and say let's try it out type a number again let's try it out take off design mode click type a number click okay then it says type a number again as a user I don't know is there error with this program so maybe that second one put on design mode click on the button double click rather I should say type a second number so it is clear to the user you know you need to type in another number or type in I like that one another number click X take off design mode double click uh, sorry click it says click to run your program um, type a number nice 90 click OK Type another number. Ooh, love that instruction. Type 8. Click OK. Eh? I mean, now it comes up with 98. Just so. I don't know what 98 stands for. So, it's not user-friendly for that output. Let's go back in design mode. Double-click on the button. So, this part here sum. 
um, let's see, we have our inputs good, our second input, our processing is fine, that's working. But our output, our output, our message box, it's just giving us the number BAM, just in your face, just so. We need to have um, a label saying what that output is showing. So we're going to use quotes. Quotes are our label. Quote, um, uh, the sum is the sum of two numbers is close quotes and you need to put an ampersand you yeah, know the and sign um, for well for VBA that is how it is and then I have my variable name my variable name notice is not in the quotes all right let's X let's take off design mode click on the button type a number love it click OK type another number excellent click OK oh wow look at that oops look at that it's kinda almost perfect the sum of two numbers is 98 my problem is look at this 98 jam up to the is what's that let's go fix it back in the design mode double click on the button so the sum, which is our variable name here, was jammed up to is. We need to put a space. Where do we put a space? We can't put a space here next to sum. We want the space to show up. So put the space inside the quotes after is. All right, let's try it. X, take design mode off, click 90, click OK. Eight, oops, eight, click OK. <gasps> Much better and more user friendly. This is a nicely working program. Good, we are done. Um, but I just want to show you something else. Click OK, design mode, go back into the button. What if we left this sum inside of the codes? Let's see what's going to happen. X. Take off design mode, click on the button, as the button says to do, type 90, type 8. Huh, the sum of two numbers is sum? Sum doesn't make sense to us. So you notice what we did. Let's go and take it out. We put sum inside of the quotes. So they thought the word sum is, is your label. But sum is not our label. Sum is our variable name. So we need to have that sum showing up outside of our quotes. That variable, na variable names cannot be in quotes. All right, I think it's pretty perfect now. Look at this. Lovely. The button tells me what the instruction is. It's clear what my program is. Click here. Nice. I'm clicking. Oops. Wait. Oh, design mode. Take off design mode. All right. Click here. Brings up my input. Lovely. It tells me type a number. I am happy to. Click OK. Type another number. Yes, I will. And... It gives me my output with a nice little label or sentence. The sum of two numbers is 98. So it's clear to me what 98 is about. Yay, user friendly. All right, I think I saved this already, so I'm just going to save. Can you do the same thing? Do you now understand why those prompts are so important? Do you?